Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hello, everyone. I am Dr. Vernita Glenn White. I go by Dr. V, and I'm a life and empowerment strategist, and I help high professionals, um, high achieving women, vibrate higher in their influence, brilliance, and excellence by helping them to break their personal glass ceilings so that they can expand their brilliance beyond their degrees, professions, and titles so that they can have the dynamic life they know that they deserve to have. Yes, and all of this month, we've been talking about building brilliance awareness. And brilliance means letting your light shine, uh, being clever, um, exceptionally clever, exceptionally talented, uh, being radiant, being bright, all of that. Because sometimes I think we use the term brilliance and it's like, it's a nice term. It's a nice word. We think we know what it means. Uh, we think we know what it means, but we um, don't always um, embrace what it means. So we are brilliant in our own right. And I focus a lot on traditionally trained uh, professionals, whether that's tr um, tr educationally trained through school or you went through up the corporate ladder and you learned some things along the way. And the reason why I focus on this group is because sometimes we allow what we've been trained to do to overshadow what our natural gifts and talents are. So my job and my role with these groups of women, especially the women I've already worked with, is to say, yes, let's use all of those great things that you've been trained with and let's um, transfer that to what you were born with and put them together um, and keep it moving. All right, so today I am talking about, uh, part of talking about the brilliance is um, helping someone, reaching out and uplifting someone else. So being brilliant doesn't only mean that you get to showcase your talents all the time. You should be able to do that anyway. Being the brilliant person that you are, you should be able to walk into a room and change the atmosphere. People should know that you're there, not in a boasting way, not in an arrogant way, but the type of energy that you carry, right? And one way to do that, to be confident in your own energy, is to uplift someone else. So you'll see the self-work later on today, talking about, <clears throat> excuse me, reaching out to four other people and letting them know that you have their back their back, their front, their side to side, let them know that you have them all over. And this is more than just um, saying, hey, I got you. We're talking about action and brilliant people are, are all about action. What are we going to do? Not just what we say. So for example, if you are with a group of people, you know, your circle and all of you all are trying to do your own thing, you're you're just starting out or you're shifting and you're into um, a new area, go out and support them. And when I say support them, I mean like on their social media pages, go out, like what they do, set up a schedule, like get really intentional about how you uplift the, the people so that they know that you support them. Go find out when they're posting, go like their posts, go comment on their posts, because sometimes we can get a little lazy by just liking. Now, Sometimes you do just like so they can get the likes, but to really uplift them, you want to get into those those comments. Um, I think the algorithm is like four words or more, something like that. But you want to show them that you really support them in that way. Another way is if they're doing some kind of live event or virtual event, go or tell people about it or see if you can help them. Like, hey, do you need me to put some copy out for you? Do you need me to bring my tribe to your um, so you can have a bigger audience? Because it takes nothing away from you. And I think sometimes we don't want to support or we do like a shallow support because we think it's going to take something away from us. But in order to continue to let your light shine, you have to also let other like other you have to also um, help other people. Um, what I want to say illuminate their light. That's what I want to say. You also want to, you want to do that. So it takes nothing away from you to go and uplift someone. Everyone needs a circle, even if you think that they already have it together, because sometimes we also assume, and people assume things about us as well as high achievers or top performers. People assume that we have it all together. 
Now, I'm not saying go around, look beat down, broke down, or all of that. That's not what I'm saying. Hi, that's not what I'm saying. You don't want to go look beat down or broke down. But um, people should know that they, they can come and support you. But sometimes people don't need to ask you all the time. I know it may sound contradictory because I said um, one of the videos, go out and, and let people know that you want their support and you want to ask for help or ask for support. But then you be that person to go to them and say, hey, how can I support you? Because that's what brilliant people do. If they are um, offering a class and maybe no one is signing up, you should be the first person to sign up and say, well, let me go through this for you or, or um, help you with something. You never know. You may learn something to add to your brilliant toolkit. So being brilliant and reaching out to help someone, reaching out to uplift someone else, it doesn't take anything away from you. It doesn't rob you of your, your brilliance, your genius, your talent, none of that. So go out and um, support. Another way to do that, you see this hat I have on? I need to do a, a separate um, video about this. This is called Black Coffee. I, I think I was introduced to them last year. I think um, one of my sister circles, she had an event and I think they helped sponsor. So I have this, they're black owned, black coffee. And they have this, um, this mug, um, and I'll talk more about what's in that mug. So that's another thing. Um, you want to go uplift people who are starting out. There are things that we get so custom and familiar with. You know, well, I've always supported this person. I've always followed this brand. But what about the people that are up and coming? Because remember, if you've already arrived, you were up and coming too. And someone uplifts you to help you get to your next level. So why don't we continue to help each other shine and be brilliant? Uh, so this one is really short today because it's really all, I don't, I, I, I don't think I need to go into details about going out and uplifting other people and supporting other people. How you do this, because I know someone's going to say, well, I don't have time to do all of that. You make time for what you want to make time for. You are brilliant. You've gotten to this certain level and you got to this certain level by carving out time, by focusing on your craft or your career or your side hustle, whatever you're focusing on. So like I said earlier, you want to schedule the time to go uplift someone. Schedule in, and I kid you not, I, have, I started to do this and I see a major difference. These are the people that, um, that are kind of in my like social media um, circle that I've been uh, consistently following or um, like, you know, they're, they're, they're like my, what's the micro influence, smaller influencers, uh, uh, influencers, I will say. And some of them are my friends. Um, I know them, know them. And some of them are my social media friends. Like, you know, we've been interacting. So I will list out, all right, this is such and such, such, and such. I notice kind of when they post or I'm on alert. So during my social media time, because I schedule that, and it's like some people say, you're always on. Not really. I'm just strategic about how I do it. I go and say, OK, I want to like. Sometimes I just go through and like. And then sometimes I'll come back and make sure I comment on certain people's posts. One, because it's actually pretty good information. Right. I love learning. So um, a lot of times it keeps me from having to research on my own. <laughs> I kid you not. If you look at social media like that and not just for all of the foolishness that's on there. It, it has saved me so much time uh, from learning, you like going to research myself because I'm following certain people. And I was like, oh, I didn't know that. Or I learned something from their little videos. Um, so I go in there, schedule time to comment, um, like, I, I go look at a story. I do all of those things because one, like I said, I learned something. And two, that's another way of showing support other than just use, having lip service and say, oh yeah, I'll support you, I'll do that. Um, like I mentioned, if you take in a class, uh, go through the course for them. It's like, you know, see what they need. If they ask you to do something, do it. It takes nothing away from you because remember, you're going to want someone to do that for you. And sometimes um, I talked the other day about getting outside of our own bubble as high achievers and top performers because we get so narrow focused on what we want to accomplish. And then we forget about building those relationships. Okay. We build those relationships. And for me personally, I think these are two different things. Like you want to build your um, 
like your family, friend relationships, your support systems, but you also want to build your, I can't think of the word, I guess your circle of influence, um, your circle, however, where it's the virtual circle or the physical circle on the, how can I say this? I guess on the same pathway, the same goals, you know, the, the you know, can't think of how I want to say that, but there are two different kind of, okay, I just lost it. Hopefully you know what I'm trying to say. So you want to build and cultivate the relationships with the people around you, but on the, because, okay, everyone's not going to be in business with you or everyone's not going to try to do what you do. But there are some people, especially in the social media space, people are trying to up their game, start their business, um, become coaches, uh, consultants, speakers, writers, um, all of those things. So you want to, to cultivate those types of relationships and uplift each other in that way. And you do that by attending their events, um, commenting, showing up for them. If they ask you to go through a course, if they ask you to watch their talks or register for a free conference, you want to do that. That's what I want to say. You want to cultivate relationships that way because one, it helps your brilliance because you get to know information Two, you will eventually want people to do that for you. And here's the thing. You don't go do it for those people because you want those people to help you. If they do, that's great, but you never know who else you may attract. So don't do it like, oh, well, I'm going to go watch such and such video or I'm going to comment on such and such post so they can comment on mine. That's not what you're doing. It's great if it happens that way, but that's not what you're doing. You're doing it out of the goodness of I'm going to uplift you and push you forward because you never know who's back here or on the side who may see you do that and there they come and uplift you, right? So um, sometimes we may think it's competition, but there is no competition. You are your own competition. There are people who are out there who are doing the exact same things that you are, but it doesn't take away from your brilliance because guess what? You have something they don't have. And I know for me, um, I was like, yeah, but one, they, they have a bigger following and we kind of talk about the same topics or um, they've been doing this longer and I'm just new in this area. Is anyone going to listen to me? But I have to keep telling myself and I hear this over and over. But now I truly, truly understand one. They don't have your story. And sometimes that could sound cliche because people are talking about, but you have a story to share. You have a story to tell. That's actually true. <laughs> and it's real because someone, you could be side by side. It could be me and Lisa. <laughs> we both talk about uh, professional women, helping them break their glasses. She may not say personal glass ceiling. She made something else, the mental blocks. All of it is personal development to help them live their best lives, right? But then Lisa may have this other tragedy that happened that she overcame and I may not have a full on like tragedy like that, but I still have something to offer. This group may say, oh, I resonate more with Dr. V. It doesn't mean that Lisa isn't great, but they, that group of people resonated with my story and the same with Lisa. So I get to go uplift Lisa, not thinking that there's any competition. So that's what being brilliant is. Go out and find someone like literally today, go find some people that you follow who are like doing their thing, go comment, go see what they're up to, um, like, uh, you know, you can even subscribe to a few things that they have and just, just message them and say, hey, I got you. What do you need from me? Because people are on their grind and sometimes when people are not, um, and I know you shouldn't do things for the likes or the comments, but if you know that you have a group of people who will do it, that's enough fuel. Sometimes you just need one or two. <laughs> you just need one or two um, to get you, um, to, to, to knock you, you know, to keep going. And for example, this right here, what I'm doing, this series right here, um, it took one person to say, hey, where you been? And I was like, you right, <laughs> you know? So it doesn't always take a, a lot of people. It only takes one person. And you could be that one person for someone else. Yes, thank you. Thank you. That was, um, um, that came off the dome. <laughs> I wasn't prepared for that, but thank you. But it's similar to like um, Burger King and McDonald's. Both of them serve hamburgers. Both of them serve fries and drinks and all of that. But they have unique stories. And some people prefer 
to go. One. And then, you know, sometimes you can cross. <laughs> like maybe today I like Lisa's. Maybe today I like Dr. V. Today I like McDonald's. Um, tomorrow I like Burger King, Popeye's, uh, KFC, whatever. This is why they have different brands. And I kid you not, I literally have to sit there and think like that. It's like, wait a minute. This is why they have all those different car, um, car dealerships. This is why they have so many different department stores. It's okay. It's 8 billion people on the planet. I kid you not, I was thinking about this this morning. No, the other morning when I was, uh, when I was walking. 8 billion people on the planet. Let's say half of them, um, if, you, if you work with women, half of them are women. And then maybe um, half of those half are your, are your group of people that you want to talk to. And then half of that is your um, target. And then half of that is your niche. That's still a bunch of people. <laughs> right that is still a lot of people and even the people that you look at with big followings if they don't have let's say two billion people on their um that they've reached guess what that means they need to um the other people are waiting for you and I had to think to myself like wow so sometimes don't focus so much on someone else's brilliance you have the brilliance because you have to go get the people that are still out there waiting on you. And that is so true. I know it sounds cliche. Like, is someone waiting on me? Yes. Yes, they are. You just have to offer them um, something for them to come to you. Um, having an accountability partner is also valuable. Uh, I meet with my friend, is it Crystal? Every morning. Every Friday, 10.30 a.m., and we hold each other accountable for reaching our business and personal goals. Yes, you do. yes, accountability, that's really what it is. One, this is an accountability <laughs> for me. And then two, having an actual um, accountability partner. I do that. I have an accountability. Thank you, Kelly. That is a great one. Um, and then you have to, you have to be comfortable and steadfast in your brilliance to make sure that you have a great accountability partner. So it, the account, you all should be going in the same direction. You shouldn't be dragging each other. So I'm um, a good accountability partner. They hold, they look at you like, why don't you have your stuff together? <laughs> and when they tell you how, and you have to be solid in you because when they say, Hey, I'm thinking that I want to make like, um, $1.5 million this year, and this is how I'm going to do it. Hold me accountable that I do X, Y, and Z. You can't go shrink and be like, man, my goal was only half a million. Well, then that was just your goal, but both of you can, um, you should be able to be confident enough in your brilliant, brilliance to be able to support your friend and vice versa. So don't go out there looking for accountability partners that are, that are going to drag you. Don't go out there looking for accountability partners um, so you think that you're better than them. It's supposed to be a mutual, um, uh, a mutual relationship. If you don't have one, you can, you can pay for accountability coaching. People do that all the time. I, ta I service people, like I'm their accountability partner for a fee. <laughs> it just happened that way. So yes, you have to do that. And, and um, the, the accountability partner is not just a good girlfriend or a good guy friend or a best friend. Your accountability partner, um, I don't know, oh, I was like, how do we get on here? Because I'm reading the comments. Your accountability partner, they, they get you to the point where you don't get like mad at them, but it's just enough for them to, to get that nerve to get you into action. So you shouldn't feel like, um, you shouldn't feel neglected, not neglected, abused mentally. <laughs> you shouldn't feel some type of way after the calls, you shouldn't feel, yeah, you shouldn't feel any type of way after that. It's, they should, and, and then they're not yes people. They're not going to be like, oh, okay, that's what you want to do. No, they tell you the truth in a loving way because they know what's best for you. So that's another thing. Being brilliant, everyone should go find um, an accountability partner. If you can't find one, go hire one. <laughs> okay, go hire one. All right, um, that's what I wanted to talk to you about today. Make sure, uh, and so I'm going to add two things. That was good. Thank you, Kelly. One, go out and be strategic about the people that you uplift because it takes nothing away from your brilliance. And then two, um, go find an, account an accountability partner. I have a, um, a, a system, a plan that I learned about what it means to be a true accountability partner. And it's more than just like, hey, girl, what you doing today? Oh, for real? Like there are some real steps if you want to get things done. I'm just saying. 
um, you can reach out to me if you want to know more about that. If you don't already have an accountability partner. Um, and what I was going to say, okay, so that's what um, the, the brilliance part of this morning. So you always know there's a part two of what I do and it's about my morning routine. And today um, I'll do my other supplements. I think you all pretty much know about those supplements, but I'm going to talk to you about something new today is my coffee. I love coffee. I, um, I have tea every now and then, but just coffee is, is it for me. I've been drinking coffee since I was five years old. Grandparents, grandparents, don't, don't judge. But I've been drinking coffee since I was five years old. So you all know that I started, well, you may not know, I started an e-commerce um, venture for health and wellness, and I'm so excited about that. And I started it because two reasons. There are so many um, educators and people who do training and development not taking care of their bodies, me included. And I wanted a way to one up level my health and wellness. And I wanted to, um, you know, just, just start taking care of my body, especially when the world opens back up. And I know how I was before I was on a plane a couple of times a month for every single month. Um, and then 2020 allowed me to slow down and really pay attention to my body. And it was like some things that were missing. So now um, 2021, I was like, okay, it's time to do something about that. And I know the world is gonna open back up, so we have to be ready. So I already talked to you all about my liquid collagen that helps with skin and your joints and overall health. And then I also talk about my fat burning pudding, which has saved me. <laughs> like I'm, I'm back working out, like walking and, and building it back up. But when I wasn't, it really saved me. I got two side abs. It's, it's coming, right? But today I want to talk to you about the, the coffee and the creamer. So the coffee is, is with Tetra Blend. So it's like, look. Oh, she didn't let you do <laughs> You started in 2017? Oh my gosh, my grandma gave it to me. My grandmother and my grandfather gave me the coffee, okay? My mom was not a happy camper. Mm -mm. And so coffee now, because I've been drinking it, I'm not even gonna, wow, I just realized how long I've been drinking coffee. I calculated how old I am now. But anyway, um, <laughs> it doesn't keep me up <laughs> because I've been drinking it so much unless I get like espresso added to it then how to keep me up a regular coffee and I'm not talking like caffeinated coffee I'm like I'm still I'm still going to sleep <laughs> right so um for this one these are smart coffees it's like I'm so like such a nerd sometimes so I didn't know coffee could be smart so this one has four benefits it helps with mood focus memory um and healthy brain aging so we can't be our brilliant selves if we aren't um taking care of our brains Right, so this they come in 30 day supply. These are instant coffees. Now, I, had, I do have it this morning, but I will be honest. Oh, can you see? It's blocking my light. I will be honest. I am like a little bougie with my coffee. I like going through the whole process of making coffee. This company, I'll do a separate video, but I bought their beans and I'm gonna, and I have a coffee grinder. And then I, if I get real fancy, I have a pour where I, it's not a brewer. It's like a, you pour over and I have a, a little funnel. I need to do a video and make it. And I pour it in and let it bloom and drip down. I do that or I'll grind the coffee and then put it in my coffee pot. So these are probably last me, last me because instant coffee is just takes away from the joy of me making coffee but if you aren't into the coffee making like that and you just want some coffee on the go this would be a good one and it has um it's collagen infused as well collagen infused like we're all about the skin collagen infused um coffee it does have a taste to it um i let my guy friend taste it he was like Ugh. but i'm like you don't drink coffee so but yeah, it does have a taste, um, but I'm finding myself liking it. You know how something is like an acquired taste like red wine? Yeah, I, yeah. Um, and then this one is the creamer. This is creamer, and it is also collagen infused. It has um, C8 MCTs and grass-fed butter, and it's also for a high-quality fuel. I mix 
Oh, and this big one. I mixed this with, so I've done two ways, so I'm always experimenting. I had the creamer and the coffee together. To me, that was a lot for putting them together. Some people who are on my, um, in my team or in the community that I follow with the company, they love it together. So it's an acquired taste. You have to just try it and see. But when I make my regular coffee with the creamer and then I put it in the blender, yes, because I like the frothiness, it tastes so good. And I put a little bit of brown sugar in it. I'm trying to stay away. This one, I have white sugar in it because I only did the, the instant coffee and the, um, I put some almond milk in it with a little bit of sugar, but I'm trying to take a step back from the sugar so that the fat burning pudding can do its thing and get my lower belly because sugar is powerful <laughs> sugar is powerful um so i like it the creamer better with regular coffee the creamer and a little bit of brown sugar in the blender but it's up to you how to, to try it so if you are someone who loves instant coffee and you want smart coffee you can try this and it comes in a in a big box always love a creamer collagen infused oh the reason why this one is so important and it's collagen infused it doesn't break down the it doesn't break down like regular collagen does. This one is made to be heated up in the coffee or maybe you can do tea, I don't know. But it's made to, it's specifically formulated to not break down in, in your hot coffee versus the other um, collagen. So this is another way to get collagen in there. No, <laughs> I did, yes. I, I did turn my nose up. No, I, I wanted to try because even though I started this, this venture, I was like, let me try some things out. And since I do drink coffee, this wasn't going to be a um, total waste, but it's going to probably sit in my cabinet for a while because I am bougie like that. So <laughs> yes, I am a little bougie when it comes. It's, yeah. Um, I need to get some more stevia. Yes. I don't know why. I don't have stevia or something like that. I just don't know why. I need to go get it and um, that will help um, with this, with the sweetness, but not with the sugar. So yes, this is called Tetra Blend Coffee. If you wanna do that, why not? Don't, um, Cause you like instant coffee? Is that why they said don't tell them when you drink coffee? Tell me why. So. That's what I do, um, and while I wait for that response, I'm gonna go ahead and take my supplements because I think it's important that you actually see me take it, like I'm not just telling you about it. This is the liquid collagen skin. It tastes, people say it's really sweet. It's not that sweet, but it's a little sweet. All of the fruit extracts in there. And then this is the liquid fat burning pudding and lemon. I don't know how all of these flavors are gonna taste when I take my coffee again. I do a tablespoon of each. Oh, yes, don't tell anybody. Mm -mm. Nope, not a coffee drinker. <laughs> I'm with them. <laughs> I am with them, don't tell anybody. And then this is my probiotic. The reason why probiotic is so important because it cleans out your, your gut health. And you can't, you, if you, like I said before, if you find yourself being in a fog it's, and you just, especially for a couple of days, you probably need to clean out your gut. And this is not a detox. It's not a detox because we know what a detox is. This is just, it keeps things going. That's all I'm going to say. And it actually tastes like candy. So those are all the things that I do. So the first part, like I told you, I started this e-commerce business is to, um, I started taking the products myself before I started the, the business because I wanted to up level my health. And then when I realized that there was an, a business side to it, a low entry, um, it's like a business in a box kind of deal. I said, why not help other people to up level their health? And if someone wanted a, an extra side hustle, we get paid twice a day. Whenever someone buys a product, I think it's a win win. And guess what? You can quit any time. I know uh, I was on some calls and people are like, well, what if I don't want to do it anymore? What if this and that and the other? It's, it's not like it's a brick and mortar business. You just simply stop selling products. <laughs> and then some people, they um, don't want to do any of that side. Um, you get a referral code. Like 
you get a code for me for $10 off to start, and then you can message me for additional ways to save. But then I also have, once you become a customer, you get your own code and you can share that with as many people as possible. And I've had people share so much that now they're getting their products almost for free because you get to share your code. So it's share the love. It's a win-win all the way. All right, so that's all I have for you today. I'm not gonna judge all of my instant coffee drinkers. I'm not gonna judge you. I'm just gonna look at you. <laughs> um, but that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for joining me. I am Dr. V and I will see you next time. Bye.